Hey guys, Ben Funderburk with Hey Man Fishing. And on today's episode, we're gonna do a bit, little bit of uh, bass fishing under a bridge, fishing those pilings, and a little bit of uh, hitting some brush piles out on the, on the main channel. So stay tuned. Jig, we're gonna jig around some of this stuff. Yeah, cool yeah. That's what I want there, brother. I want that big bass. It's nice. How about that? Nice fish. Crappy. Mm. Big crappy. Mm. A lot of crappies. Look at the crappies right there. Boys, I got fish all over that. My net rig ought to just jump all over it. Mm. Oh, he's going up. He's going up for it. He, oh, yeah, yeah, he's on there. Come on up here, Mr. Bass. Can't resist that Ned rig. I swear. Yeah. Can't resist the old Ned rig. Oh, he's coming to the top here. Yeah. I don't go to the top. Do I need a net for this thing? Wow. Ain't that big. I thought he's a big, big one. Yeah, anyway. See the color of that Ned rig? I try to get the correct color and put it in the subscription. I mean, uh, under the 
comments. There you go. Oh yeah. Ah oh, yeah, you got it. Out of that water. Uh -huh. Come on up here, Mr. Fish. No size. I don't feel like it. Guys, all I'm doing is working brush pile. That's straight out what I'm doing. I'm just throwing this old Ned rig over top of it. Uh, and that's a go-to rig, I swear. I don't always pick them up with that thing. The old Ned rig. Move up on these. I got one about 55 feet in. I don't think he's gonna get it. So I can throw that out there on Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, you got that. Yeah. He was just out there just coasting. Ooh, it feels like a good fish. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good fish, sir. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on over here to me, buddy. I got to use the net on you. It feels so good. Oh, come on. Nah, I don't want that. I don't want that. Y'all see what that is. That's one of catfish. You can go your way. Okay guys, take, take 15. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video uh, on the bridge pylons. I used a 3 8 ounce cotton cordell silver color around those pylons. And all I done was I just jigged it up and down around them pylons. I went all the way to the bottom and I bring it up. But nine times out of ten when you drop that jig they gonna pick it up as it goes down um other thing you want to do on the bridge pylons is try to stay in the shade uh those pylons that's in the shade are going to be more productive um them fish they don't want to be out in that sun they're going to find shade and that, that, that type of cover they're going to move to that area more than they would if they was in the sun where that pylon in the sun so stay in the shade um, another thing you want to do with the bridge pylons is uh, graph in and around them pylons because within those pylons and under that bridge is going to be huge brush piles crappy fisherman is going to use that bridge to drop uh, tons of brush There'll be a ton of structure. So you want to mark that and you want to fish it. And you can fish it throughout the year and it's going to, help, it's going to hold fish. So 
I hope those couple of tips there are happy. Now on the channel, I got brush piles marked. Like I say, brush piles are the key. Structure is the key for these bass. Um, so I went out on the channel uh, and fished that brush and I caught those fish on a uh, Z-Man uh, TRD rig. It's a finesse rig. This is a one six ounce Ned rig head and hook. Um, so I used this June bug color and it, it was very productive for me this morning. And again, uh, you're gonna catch, uh, you're susceptible to catching catfish on these rigs too. They'll grab them. So I hope this all helps. Uh, God bless all of you. And until the next time, Take care.